to get Chinese student visa to even work, you know. It was illegal, but huh? people are doing it. Through the teaching, I was able to build six bedroom house within six months. In China, visa, semi visa things are very, very tough. Do not listen to the lies or messages from agents. You will go, you will be stranded, you will be illegal. When the police get you, they are going to deport you. Huan Yin woman, Pai Yon Man. Huan Yin woman, Jin Tian Shuo Hua. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe. These videos take quite a long time to make, so if you could help me out, I'll love you forever. Thank you all for your support. I came to the West Lake to explore things for myself. And today I'll be joined by a guest and a friend who spent most of his time in China. He's here to visit me today and I'm privileged to talk to him and tap into his experience. If you should know, most people went to China, most Africans went to China and had a lot of experiences, a lot of things to tell about China. I've always been waiting for that right opportunity. And I think this is the right opportunity to delve into the life as an African in China. I titled this piece, African in China. Let's go meet him. Hey, welcome. Charlie, thanks. I've heard a lot of stories about China. Some say that they are so cruel. Some say you can just be picked anytime. Some yeah. say you, are, you don't have the opportunity to work. Some say you don't have the freedom. I've heard a lot of stories yeah. about China. Okay. You have been in China. First of all, can you start with your journey? What inspired you to move from Ghana to China? This uh, journey, moving from Ghana into China started in 2015 when i have completed university in 2014 i was doing my national service 14 15 so i was with one of my close friends in the university we were eating together doing every almost everything he was in koforudi at that time i was in western region Takradi. so it came he called me one day that charlie chance be a bunny adio and uh girls be anna juniors they've left the university to china now they wanted to help us and when we are going now, we are going to study and work. Okay. And as a young guy, we know the system back home near there. So yeah, you consider yeah, you share. We look at the benefit we are going to get in 2015 during national service. And we say, Charlie, make we grab the opportunity. Okay. So during the service time, that was where we started the process. After, so after completing the service, we, we didn't even complete you the didn't service. Finish the service. We, uh, we had, so you have your national service certificate. I, I completed the service, but while I was doing the process and while doing, doing the, the service. national service, okay. I, I sometimes leave Takradi, go to Accra, scan some documents forward, do police reports, do medicals. They had a prescribed hospital in uh osu okay there is a this hospital is a private hospital that is where you have to do your medical so the boss i was working with you know he understood he said oh me percent me yeah school movement yes it's okay because so we were all in and we knew very well the girls now normal a free university almost second year for china they were closed with us we okay. all you in try and blend um english with, yeah with, 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 with with yes. yeah my viewers are english speakers and listeners uh -huh. it's you know a band is you know, and I'm down for no catchers. Charlie, a good move because hey, yeah, yeah, service right after service. If we can move on full scholarship, go study, work, and get some step in there, yeah, this yeah, is a good move. okay. So we started the processing, everything went well. The guys were telling us everything, say, Oh, yeah, bah, yeah, bah, yeah, juma. It's you know, that all that motivated us. We didn't want to waste time at all in Ghana, say, or say, it's me, then it take you opportunity, no? yeah. See, that was where it started. So, how is the transition process? We hear that getting a visa from China is one of the most sort of difficult yeah. things to do. Yeah. How was the transition process? Actually, it got, uh, in 2015, late 2015, you know, when we were going for the visa, it was very tough. Especially our Chinese embassy. At that time, you know, not China for a year reshuffling. It's you know, new ambassador, not Abano. It wasn't easy. So, we have to even go to Togo. Okay. Togo. 
ena ye koje 6 months business visa wow. na mi senior ba ko e wo university ne wo no eso e wo china o true ntafo na ye ne o start ye no we got to know say omukra no they are working under me mi senior na me wo first year na na me som no e wo chai e university no so you went with a business visa not not a study visa not a study visa okay because we realized that to get a study visa in ghana no it was impossible because that very month na ye ye be kono the previous month no the guy now who taking responsibility no all your money no the guys about 15 you refuse your money now student visa wow. i will ghana embassy wow. so or catch a plane say if you go to the ghana embassy you will not get student visa i have a friend in togo lome so go for business visa and when you come i can convert it for you wow. into a student visa wow. so you left um ghana in 2015 2016 16 yeah um and you 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 got to um china in china what was your experience oh um, first time i traveling to china it it wasn't easy but uh let me say what he was there that my mm. senior was around okay. so he told me oh ube drew a honey idea get yourself a google translator if you don't understand anything just use this and in fact he helped us the code of me name one guy you know the felix guy that make us and we didn't go through hell so much because we knew him and he uh, he was ready to help us and internal you know, it will it makes our movement getting to china guangzhou because we were going with business visa no yet me and call beijing because who call your business are in china we know guangzhou city to be the, the business, business hub so we have to learn he guided us get some dollars we had some dollars on us or, or say you fire a national id voters id card to confirm say be a withdraw immigration maybe a bit me busa we got what shows so we got there we passed through immigration and we entered there the and we hear stories of people sleeping in the train station people getting what was the experience it it depends for example i had one i met one nigerian guy he told me he has slept in the train station for three nights wow because the person who was supposed to come and pick him you know i can't try and so remember but the person didn't come on the first day Okay. second day where are you bro should i go to the hotel oh i'm coming he didn't come and you know sometimes too it's it's four things being called china they don't sleep so okay. in the train station okay. you can sit there oh. and i go to china that was uh april out in the morning and my senior told me oh i'm not in guangzhou city and i will let somebody come and pick you okay. and i'll contact you okay so the person told me oh i'm at work break time so i stood there for walk around for some couple of hours around five or six hours but a uh, uh, lastly the guy came to pick me with uh this uh in china we have something dd which is just like uber and okay. the farm me your corny apartment my name is guy felix you know? now where do china what was life in china was it that smooth <laughs> how did things go in china life in china charlie me catch us a life in china it's easier not me boy because of police issues especially if you are an african go to coin say over china and me you know what motivated me was going to school okay and i went with business visa but me call here now me me name say me kwa kwa ye chinese government scholarship no i realized it wasn't so it will for bar charlie i think maybe university my year service it really had me to kind know me call university memo they told me so oh mr desmond yeah well with details we have partial scholarship for you okay you go you are going to have a uh what do you call it free tuition but you have to pay for your own accommodation okay. feed yourself charlie and that, that wasn't the message you got back in ghana no the message i got was that i'm going to get a scholarship for free tuition free accommodation get some dollars as my monthly stipend uh -huh. because program nana may quite new year pharmaceutical science do, do, do you think you were deceived by the said agent or it's it's it, he wasn't an agent okay. it, it, it's all good okay it's all good because later no, i realized when we went to the school no china pharmaceutical university in nanjing we went to uh, J, uh, uh, nanjing city when we went there, you know, we realized that uh, Jiangsu province, we realized that uh, the school was not so open to uh, my, my, my senior. No. Okay. Uh -huh, because okay. they had told him that they are going to take care of us. Okay. But also later, he realized that uh, the scholarship is an internal school scholarship. scholarship. Internal. Okay, so, um, so did you end up in school and what happened afterwards? What happened was that uh, Ejiwono, 
my dad, my father, yeah, omo omo to kwai no omo ko omo fan Nigeria ko Spain ni be those early eighties ni muni ade. So I told him say, dad, the bedroom and the situation ni different. And he told me say, once I wa bedroom ni there, you are a man. Don't even think of coming to Ghana now. Wow. Whatever you think is going to help you, you know. Yeah. As far as it's genuine and you are not going to have any problem, you have my support. Okay. It told me from my father that time not me a minister be a. And I told him say, dad, I you need some small money and not sending me more. Eco bank visa card or deposit is car, and I'm a red draw ya. But it's in the Hono, and I'm a catcher senior. No sense, senior Eric. When himself in a mamba, I feel my new Duma Wagana. You never work, I never worked in Ghana. You didn't have any money, I didn't have any money. True service money, and then my senior brother who was working with Tapa Gold Goldfields, they supported me and my dad. So I told him, say, school, no, me the Mushima and Mwami. So I want to go for Chinese language that time, 2016, 17, 18. Which major Chinese language? Then I'll be studying. Okay. Mr. Busami about three consecutive times said, "Desi, do you want to study?" Mr. Senior, let go and let me work right now. I know very well. Say to get Chinese student visa to even work, you know, it was illegal. But huh? people are doing it, you know. Fourteen is because let me do it. Let, let me become a full illegal. Yeah. This is let me do Asia let, illegal. Oh, of course, uh, of uh, course, uh, Charlie. Uh, so meaning you abandoned the school and rather uh, enroll in, in one year Chinese, Chinese language. Program. Later on, when I studied, I was doing part time alongside because my heart and I'm within them. I wanted okay. to make sure, say at least I wouldn't be calling home all the time okay. to be sending money. Okay. So this me senior, yeah, your friend is senior, Eric, no free kumasi, and the link me call. Uh, the north south of China, okay. Dalian city, and I'm in a part time. So I go to classes three times a week Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm here, Juma was centers, training centers. Until I go there full time, I'm 16, I'm 17. And I'm who advert me through WeChat. I'm also the famous app I use here, WeChat. And I'm a chassis, say, I'm a chassis, 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 I'm I speak basic Chinese and he employed me. So I have to leave where I was schooling. The school of Omo Fremi, who were here for our my class, now my my cotton power the be me the stress from me. Who said me ya rekra me to me now me shabby so I'm here then. Obo 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 yeah, um, masters. Masters, but you didn't do that. Yeah. You went to study Chinese. Chinese. And right. they didn't disturb you. Mm, the stepbrothers, that is what I'm saying. For the stepbrothers is everywhere. Okay. Because in China, a ban of visa, semi visa things are very, very tough. Okay. If you have student visa, mm -hmm. I don't know if now you are not permitted to work. Okay. Look at that. Student visa, undergraduate, bachelor's, masters, or PhD, you are not permitted to work. Okay. And who get a business visa? It means you are going there only on business visa. Okay. You cannot go to do the normal thing like teaching English to Chinese kids and those stuff, you know. And even with the working visa, you know, we have two categories. We have company working visa and then teaching working visa. We call it Z visa. Okay. Those days are in America, you know, uh -huh. And with the company work visa, you are supposed to work in a company or an institution. And as an African, as at that time, to get a teaching Z visa, it was very tough. So most people were using the company Z visa. That means that even if you decide to do the right thing, you will end up becoming become illegal. Becoming illegal. So you decided to forego all of that. Of course. And rather focus on, on making money. You have to so, work. So you, you now got enrolled in a full-time school. A full-time job, yeah. The, it was a group of companies. Uh, and I was they were opening their first branch uh, in Balto City. So I was the first. Uh, teacher, I will recommend a, a, a Chinese agent, and they may call here. And they didn't have any experience with being white or black. So, when as a first a foreigner, you were able to impress them. So, I taught them for two semesters. They were opening another branch in another city. They told the agent they want black teacher. And I have to connect one of my friends. He's currently in Ghana. He's called Rafael. He's in okay. Kofodia now. Okay. So, we were. He didn't even go to the other city. The, that place, they needed a female because it was for one, two years case. Okay. They had another branch that same year in my city, but different district. So I was staying with the guy in a one same two bedroom apartment, but every I work in a different branch. He works in a different branch. So how many years did you work as a teacher in China? So, um, let me say actively, 
in 2020 i didn't work from january to august till i went to ghana i didn't work so actively i worked for three years okay in china three, yeah and what were some of your trying moments tough uh, times tough times the tough times was when i have gone for student visa and once you are working and you think that i have to work hard and make money the school will be calling you if you don't come one man you could tell one crowd time i then what the student visa now my class you have to come to class you, you mean the, uh, the chinese school the chinese school oh okay yeah you, you didn't go you didn't attend that school too i attended the school but say it drew baby no i had one year visa and i've already only studied the course for one semester four months okay so i during summer time i have to leave that was where i have gotten a full-time job okay and once i have gotten a full-time job in one school they are paying me alongside some online sales bini adieno I realized that Charlie, I have to snub all this money from my city, current city where I'm working to that school. So I'm going to take even a, a train and sit in the train for 48 hours. Wow, that's two hilarious. nights. Mm -hmm. It was very tough. It goes to a time I'm in school. It one, there was one time I was teaching, and uh, usually my company they had links to the in, in the in police. But there was one very day I was on the last floor, the fourth floor auditorium. I was dead. I finished my classes. I was just around, and we realized there are some police police at the gate wow it is a faced bilingual kindergarten very big okay. one we had even two korean kids they, their family were there and you know about this and they have to quickly call me and when you are there because you know you are illegal no they call you where are you where are you they see come down it's yellow yellow it means come to the first floor and you have to pass the bus gate in fact, the, 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 the next gate in that train that you go into the police is same there it was very tough did you have ahead of some other friends who were arrested in china yeah 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 in 2019 one of my friends he was called alex he was arrested they detained him 2019 china was celebrating 78th anniversary of their communist party and even in two weeks we didn't go out at all because they will tell you you cannot go out and even at that time cry no mean cry no cry i be there for solid two years late 17 18 19 or so we were just hiding ourselves but my chinese agent was away my country and said kratano going back and forth and he did be mommy be so he knew a good time might be a school no in him say yeah no one more agent not catch a school is oh me quite quite renew me crater then i'll be indoors for three four days my bar no catch almost because i was working at through me he had three different Ghanaians. okay okay so so you worked for four years right? three years three, three years. years yeah and what happened yeah let me say so far uh, working in china there it wasn't bad okay so can you sum the the amount you made working in china for oh, three years i cannot name it but it's, it's, it's not bad what were some of the, some of the things we were able to make with the earnings there um I, I, in 20 i started i bought i bought uh, a kia Bing, a bongo car in 2018 there about when i sold it late 2019 I had enough money through the teaching. I was able to build six bedroom house within six months through my brother in law and my sister. So you uh, build a six bedroom yeah. house in Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. Wow. In uh Hunter West. Wow. 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 A Hunter West uh, municipal. Okay. And uh we, even with that I had enough money. I was doing family projects. When you come to the western region, we invest in rubber rubber yeah. plantation yeah and if you know of rubber plantation so yeah. i was investing in that because the rubber it lasts for about 70 to 100 years mm. so i invested so some, you have rubbers also yeah i have rubber plantations you have about, some properties i have rubber plantations wow. I, I bought some land for myself and family wow. lands i developed that one too. wow congratulations you, 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 you man you have you have tian, tian, i, tian, I, tian, I tian. developed that in too. china so were you only teaching or you were into other businesses i went into business uh, in 2018 during summer holidays because i was not on any visa at that time all my plans was that i have to make sure i get other sources of money income uh -huh, because when they get when police arrest me almost me and i know they are going to send me home and you know i was trying any means sometimes i had chinese agents i was selling there was one lady she's currently in the uk lady Anne. So we share video here, Michelle. We got to see you, Lady. Yeah, Anne. Lady Anne. She was selling online in China. We use WeChat. 
in two thousand and eight summer July. Name a break for one month. You start a summer camp August, and I, I've been buying things from the lady. Oton sneakers, perfumes, a shirt, and those styles. And I'm catching and say, oh, lady Anne, this online thing you have been doing, oh, me person me yebi. I said, ah, that's it. So with me, I did a couple of Ghanaians have contacted me. They almost posted near my now. It's an online sales. We will be like an agent between the Chinese and the customer. It's a post to which I know currently I still do it. I'm oh, you still currently yeah. do that. So you sell shoes, shoes, and... bags, clothing, perfumes, and I even do wholesale wow. home appliances, uh, air fryers, rice cookers. So currently, if I want you to ship some things for me, from yeah, China, I have possible. I have my shipping company, a mini Chinese food dealer, yeah, yeah, container, no, but me mean to me, yeah, full 40 40 feet container 40 by 40 feet so it be a me near my kakrana now they are chinese for their nose so a qua akra taifa a one year warehouse in the world wow yeah wow. dtc decent trading center in logistics okay and that is also uh, fetching you some i'm um, um, quite uh, uh -huh, that was amount. in china you know this lady you know now me can ask her no me talk your money want me catch her so me person me yeah who own like sales maybe no or they make two groups more Ghanaian groups more okay uh -huh. so me it be a me who sneakers now I'm a post to one will be better than any idea oh it be a probably a hundred ramen B from the Chinese uh, supplier now me so me the 20 ramen B at that also it's an omit all the old details will be our size or color or address now with their mommy let me push your man Chinese agent you know no we'll put we'll post it directly to you uh -huh. so it was one of the ways where and I also had some extra part times uh me year evenings and weekends. So now me year full time Monday to Friday okay. or Kindy. It is Saturday, Sundays and all. What was the deciding factor? What made you leave China and how did it happen? I left China because of COVID in twenty twenty. Wow. Yeah, at that time I didn't have documents. Now in Krata no dear now I told you for 2017, 18, 19, but nihina because to do visa in China is very expensive. I will spend about $2,500 to get one year student visa, wow. which will not even permit you to work. We left China with me, uh, this my guy, Rafael Yamekanasami. He was in Kofu, he's Kofu, now. In 2020, COVID, we didn't have any of that option that to go home into no Ghanaian a uh, Ghana embassy in China and a contact Yehina Ghanaian community say if whether you have stayed you have visa you cannot go home just like that because the stress you go through in immigration no, they have collide with the Chinese uh, government say whether you have visa a honor that you who say if it's on a year, year two and a half years stay illegal no crown no. people have stayed seven years ten years without in Krata. Wow. It, you know, we were in our city you are sending your address details at your ma embassy you know, and then the embassy will connect the PSB the public security bureau in our city it is around July the whole of January 2020 when COVID we yeah. didn't work at all we were indoors and the, the PSB police for Ninja your details yes your apartment and the police people were knocking those so they asked that who is this one they had our pictures and everything let me see me uh Rafael yeah then they took us to the police station interviewed us and then I'm oh now you're here online sales near there but currently we don't do anything we want to go home and we had already because we have stayed for a couple of four years 16 to 2020 you know from me experience a Ghanaian community you know was a China maker say you will not have any problem because we usually use buses, trains. Okay. We don't use motorbikes. Mm -hmm. Buses. Me jinaha. Me nyam bus number maybe a six. And the akobe be a maker. Train subways is available. It's an ube ube to say Ghana ni any problem and African any problem and any encounters and police ni achenu. It's with experiences. No, now we know say police for no omo chiye. It's no omo the uko detention center. You don't. You have to pretend like say oh yare. Into police for an interview, you know, uh, no more did you say the whole day you need you not eating for the Meanwhile, we had need for food near there in our fridges and other food styles near there. And yeah, the quiet on my bread, and I see, oh, you need all our mind was we want to go home. I told the be I hate to say we are shivering. I want the aha 2020 that was a July in Muna Mekano, Sam and Ababa, Todabia, Nahi to say we are vomiting. Be a dinner, you see, a yare, we want to go home. So, three four days. And on the process of your exit visa for 21 wow. days, we should prepare. Wow. That time, no need a bookie Emirate. Emirate, no be fire. 
it's a normal a uh, your passport we all had passport but near the among one as a visa no more indicated say we like with five years ban to enter china into me your project trc our embassy traveling certificate from ghana embassy and normally visa no boy train to know from our city you know i'll say your first flight to guangzhou okay. but we are free ghana by me belandi and you do know they didn't want us any afraid police me or new or more say and also they have to go you know that was what happened wow. the traveling certificate is just like almost besides say your passport or any me you say your passport in a year so if your passport are right means you need a traveling certificate we call it tc tc mm -hmm. and no no it's just like from the embassy approval with embassy stamp and everything okay. and no no more the exit visa no at the bow a tree at the maya aha and you know you drew mimi city so that, that, does that mean that the records of you overstaying in china it doesn't reflect in your passport no 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 currently it doesn't reflect oh. in my passport it's only on my tc t, oh. tc uh -huh. so if you are to travel i can go again with your with your with passport. a different passport even at that time 2019 you know i have already gotten a new passport mpp had come to power they have extended to 10 years it's not my new passport okay but i didn't use the new passport right uh -huh. i got it what advice do you have for somebody some people are still convincing people africans to go to china go and teach uh, their school what advice do you have for somebody who is planning and plotted to go back to china or to go to china and teach Karen, a lot of schools are not even employing foreign teachers again a lot of training centers like language schools have even closed down way back in 20 uh 22 coming after covid they closed a lot of training centers if you are going to china now as a young guy and you have money to go and do business me myself i can even link you to factories sneakers perfume factories clothing if you want to do business there's no problem it's okay if you're okay. going to study now it's okay but if you have plans like ours like i feel like every school so and if you have plans of going, going to, to work, study and work mm -hmm. definitely you cannot get that teaching z visa and you go and study and be illegal when they get you the law will deal with you so i wouldn't advise you but going to study maybe you are from a rich family in ghana you are going to study get your master's phd it's okay maybe for what is because you can do some buying and selling because in china if you have but if you plan to work because i'm asking i'm telling you because there are a lot of people i see in groups who are still recruiting people to go to china and teach who are still recruiting blacks encouraging them oh you can oh there's no problem just that is what, that is what a, a, a black man agent will tell you because of the later profit he's going to make from you he will tell you that my brother when you come everything is on a silver platter the day you read there we uh, went in 2016 when we even go we knew student visa we can even work until we got to know that on student visa you it's can illegal work. the laws in china are very strict and if you're going on student visa currently the law still will not permit you to work so you have to be very careful do not listen to the lies or the the the, the sweet messages from agents you will go you will be stranded you'll be illegal when the police get you they are going to deport you and give you a ban that is why i'm saying if you're going to china now to go and study fully you have enough dollars on you you want to go and do business it's okay but to go like maybe undergraduate to go and study and work no